Hi YouTube! Here I am, the cabbie's wife again. This time I'm bringing you a video on how to make pico de gallo. Um, I got um, my green sauce ready for my chips so I can have chips and salsa. And now I need pico de gallo ready for dinner. So here I have chopped some cilantro, I've chopped two Roma tomatoes, and I chopped half of a medium-ish onion. Um, you don't want to use too much onion, You're way overpowering. And here I have another one of these foot-long chili peppers. So that's longer than my thumb. It's, all, it's longer than my index finger. Look at that. This sucker's huge. It's just huge. And um, as I've mentioned before, my husband likes everything atomic. And this is one of his favorite accompaniments to eggs and I am going to cut out half the seeds and the ribs. I don't think I'm going to use that the whole one there. Um, and then we're just going to chop up the jalapeno. Um, you can add a variety of other things. Um, sometimes I like to, instead of using white onion or yellow onion, I will make this and you got You've got to kind of mince this jalapeno kind of fine, but you also have to remember that the smaller you cut it, the more it's going to be prevalent in your dish because there's going to be more little bits of it. So if you don't take out those ribs and those seeds, you're going to kill somebody. So, um, I forgot what I was saying. But my husband likes to put this over all kinds of stuff, his chicken and his salad. Oh, oh, that's what I was saying. Um, I like to make this with cilantro, tomato, and red onion. And I leave the red onion like in little slivers. And I put it, you know, just to gussy up like Gordon's fish fillets. And, you know, I fry them or bake them. And then you put this on top. And then when you're making your pico de gallo, mix in half of a cubed avocado with salt and lime or lemon. And oh my God, you'll just like to want to die. It's so good. But um, okay, so here we go the assembly. Woo. And look, 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 I remember this time not to wipe my eye with my fingers because I just touched jalapeno. So here we go. We need um, cilantro, the tomato, and yeah, I'm leaving some behind because my bowl is too small. Some onion. In fact, let's just do it this way, which y'all won't be able to see. Um, and then we're going to want all of our jalapeno. That one's just a little bit bigger, but not by much. Get a spoon and just kind of toss it all together. All that yummy, yummy goodness. Oh, see, I didn't chop all of my onion good enough. I'm using the wrong knife. Um, and I get scared when I can't see the jalapeno. And that happens to me quite frequently, but I've yet to kill anybody. Because I'm always very conscious of how much I, I put in. And then look at this. I have heard these little lemon reamer thingies. Um, I have a big one too. Um, this one is for a lime. This one is for a lemon. The green one's for a lemon, the yellow one's for a lime. Um, I've heard that they run at Williams Sonoma anywhere from $12 to $35. Got both of these at the HEB on clearance, quarter a piece. Awesome stocking stuffers. My husband came at me and he was like, Look what I got you, babe. And then about three months later, he's like, Look what I got you, babe. And I'm like, Tom, I already have one of those. And he's like, uh, no, you don't have one of these because this one is for lemon, this one is for lime. And when he brought it closer to me, I saw that it was much, much smaller. So we are going to squeeze in, just for brightness, lime. You know, I find that I like lemon. I like lemon in everything. But I find that, and you know what, I'm going to add a little salt. Just a touch, not a lot. Um, quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And then stir it up again. I find that in Mexico they like to use lime for stuff, <laughs> margarita, but um, I don't know, I, I'm kind of fond of lemon, but do what mom says, passing down those recipes, right? Okay, and then um, there you go, don't make a mess like me, but here you have fresh pico de gallo. So now we are ready to chow down, and as you know, this can go on all of your tacos, 
Like I said, you can um, use it as is or cube an avocado in it and serve it over fish. It can go over meat. You can actually put it in your green sauce or in your red salsa to make it more chunky, you know, to give it, but this green sauce is perfect if you ask me and has plenty of texture. Um, I'm not biased at all now, I'm not about this green sauce. It's awesome, wicked awesome. And um, just, you can put it over anything, you know, but um, thanks a lot.